Zobal looks happy and relaxed, however. She could be dealing with grief following the loss of her mother. A body language expert has suggested as the radio presenter was seen for the first time since she has been absent from her BBC Radio 2 show. The radio DJ 53, who has puzzled listeners by being off the show for six weeks, was seen laughing and smiling alongside her ex-husband, 61. The Radio 2 presenter was spotted with a group of people, including Norman Cook, outside a cafe in Hove on Sunday. Eyewitnesses say the broadcaster stayed there for just over an hour. Photos show her chatting and laughing with the group before walking along the beachfront. Now, body language expert Judy James has shared her thoughts on Zoe's latest appearance with the mirror. Happily, Zoe looks happy and relaxed in these photos, which show her interacting with her family and her ex. Her laughing expression appears congruent with her open mouth and narrowed eye shape, and when she walks in the group, she appears to take the lead in the front, she shared. Her still best friend's body language with Norman also looks genuine here, with his body language looking equally relaxed and with some subliminal-looking mirroring making them look at ease with each other and possibly still emotionally close. Nobody in the group looks anything other than upbeat here, which should also endorse Zoe's mood, the body language expert added. Juvie went on to say that fans of Zoe's should perhaps cease making assumptions about her whereabouts, health, and personal life as she pointed out that Zoe could well be dealing with grief following the loss of her mother earlier this year. It might be wise to make no assumptions about Zoe's inner emotions, though. She lost her mother in April and grief can be a process that doesn't always show up in someone's social behavior and body language, she said. Soba last appeared on her breakfast program on August 8. Her show has been covered with replacements including Scott Mills and Gaby Roslin. There is speculation that Zoe will return to her breakfast show next Monday. Schedules published by the BBC show her in that slot with her temporary replacement Scott Mills returning to his afternoon slot. A BBC Radio 2 spokeswoman would only say, so will return to the Radio 2 breakfast show later this month. However, the show's blurb says, wake up and embrace the day with Zoe Ball and the team. So keeps the tunes rolling on Maximum Music Monday. Speaking on August 12th show, Mills told listeners that he was unexpectedly taking over. If you set your alarm every morning to go off at 6.30 a.m. and normally Zoe comes on, please do not freak out. You have not overslept, he told listeners. If you've just put us on this morning, it's Scott Mills in for Zoe for the next few weeks. I'm sending you all my love, Zoe, as are the team. With an annual salary of £950,000, Zoe is the BBC's highest paid woman. Before leaving her show in August, the star enjoyed a holiday to Ibiza and attended Brighton Pride. She then returned to work for three days before leaving the show. Back in March, Zoe said she would be taking time off to care for her mother, Julia Peckham, who had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. However, just a couple of weeks later, her beloved mom sadly passed away. Posting a tribute to her mother on social media, heartbroken Zoe said, Sleep tight, dear mama. Thank you for teaching us how to love unconditionally, to always show courage and empathy, and how, even in the darkest of days, laughter is the greatest of gifts. We are bereft without you, but we'll hold so tight to each other.